Welcome to English Listening and Vocabulary. Uh, last year, I went to Portugal just after Christmas, and I stayed there until, well, just after New Year's this year. Uh, in Portugal, I met up with one of my friends from Toronto. He had family that lived in Portugal because his family was originally from Portugal, so they were kind enough to let me stay with them. I didn't know any Portuguese except for some simple words like hello and thank you. I learned some simple words through an audio CD before I went there. And the people that I stayed with didn't know very much English either. However, we got along surprisingly well. They were surprised that I was able to eat some of their exotic foods. They made some delicious meals every single day, like octopus, tripe, and rabbit. It is quite exotic, but I thought it was quite good. They also made some excellent desserts like creme caramel and a, a rich sponge cake that they called pão de lo. I went to a few cities such as Porto, Almeirim, Lisbon, and Nazaré. The New Year's celebration on the beaches of Nazaré was fantastic. It was really quite a celebration. We had some champagne and some raisins. In Portuguese tradition, they eat 12 raisins for each month of the year and make a wish for each month. I think that because of my friend and his family, I got to experience a part of Portugal that most people wouldn't just by going on vacation. And I really did have a fantastic experience. Okay, now I'll talk about my winter vacation. Uh, this winter vacation, I spent two weeks in my hometown, which is uh, Daytona Beach, Florida. It was wonderful. Uh, the weather was warm every day, the, it was sunny every day, and the temperature was almost 80 degrees. I visited my mother and uh, I spent every morning having a nice leisurely cup of coffee and reading the newspaper and after that I uh, uh, got the, my bicycle out and rode down to the beach and enjoyed the sun and the surf. I came back home and read a book and went to bed early. I had a wonderful time. Uh, I saw a couple of new movies when I was uh, home in Florida. I saw The, uh, a the Aviator and also an uh, interesting movie called Spanglish, which I hope you all can see because it's an interesting movie about English and the Spanish. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. Support us by clicking on the like button and leaving your comments here. Thank you.